Hi, I'm Paulo Cavalcanti and I will be talking about a theorem that connects no signal exchanges to quasi probabilistic distribution. So in this presentation, I will introduce you to the problem by talking a little bit about resource theories, about classical and quantum theories appear in resource theories, and how they are particular cases of something more general. Then, in this case of the something, something more general, I will define what is no signal exchanges, one of the problems that we uh, concepts that we need and show you our result. First, I will define the problem and then show you about uh, show you the results. So what is what are resources? Resources they are something that appears when there are limitations. So for example, in relativity theory, nothing can go faster than light. And th that means that signaling, that means when you can send information from point A to point B, is a resource because there are cases where you cannot do it. This appears, for example, if you are dealing with distributed systems, like such as the internet. Not only that, but signal is also related to foundational questions. For example, the bell inequalities, which establish a difference between classical and quantum theory, they depend on this notion of signal. Now, to see what we can do with some uh, type of resource, we need to have a mathematical characterizations of it, characterization of it. And that is where operational theories uh, show their need. So in scientific inquiry, people are building theories, and with these theories, we make predictions, which, Im which means that there must be a probabilistic framework there. For example, classical and quantum theory, they are examples of those of, uh, uh, of uh, probabilistic frameworks that people can use. And they are genuinely different. You can prove that they are not equivalent. They are not equivalent, however, they are particular cases of this more general thing we call generalized probabilistic theories. And what are those? There are theories that have the structure of probabilistic framework and they have classical and quantum theory as particular cases. And these theories, they have as primitive processes in the notion of composition. So for example, one process can happen after the other or at the same time. This notion provides us with a mathematical structure already, even if it's so simple. And this mathematical form is given by category theory or more specifically by symmetric monoidal categories. And this is very nice because these categories, they are equipped with a diagrammatic calculus where the mathematical objects, they are diagrams such as this one. And then we can make, that means we can make a form of mathematical calculations while at the same time having this very significant um, uh, notation where everything has a very clear meaning for, uh, to us. Now, this is how we can uh, characterize these no signal channels that I was talking to you about. So when the theory does not allow two parties to communicate, how do we formalize that mathematically? Well, if you are using GPTs, you can use the diagrams and say that some process lambda cannot be used to send information between the, the, the people there if this lambda has this form, where I don't need to um, uh, talk very precisely about this, oh, you only need to know that it's possible to characterize that using the form of the diagrams. And this is what, what, uh, where our work enters. We can now define the problem. The problem is the following. We know that if you can mathematically write some operation in this form, the meaning doesn't matter, then we know that this operation cannot be used to send information between the parts. And then we can make the almost converse question. Can any operation that cannot be used to send information be written in this way? As I told you, this is almost a converse, and not exactly, but we show the following. We show that any no signal no signal channel in a tomographically local GPT can be written in that way. So we don't have the result for all GPTs, but for this very broad class of GPTs, we show that that converse is true. And this answers the question in the affirmative. Now, this was interesting not just because of the result but but because we prove it by lifting our theorem from classical theory this was already known from classical theory and we generalized this for a more broad class of theories and we could do that because we use the diagrams to make the calculations now to conclude this presentation you can just take uh, uh, remember the following we proved for tomographically local gpts which includes quantum theory our most important theory that no signal in multipartite channels can be decomposed as a fine combinations of product channels. That generalizes a theorem that was proved for classical theory, and we did that by, by lifting that result from the classical theory, not by proving directly. So with this, I finish my presentation, and thank you.